Hi folks, welcome to Masterclass. In this one, I'm gonna to talk to you about inverters. They're a popular item in caravans and campers, but they do have their limitations and there's some things you need to know about them when you're selecting which appliance you wanna run off your inverter. There's two types, there's modified sine wave and there's pure sine wave. When making a decision, you need to look at the item you wanna run as to whether or not a modified sine wave will do the job or you need to step up to a pure sine wave. If you're running sensitive electronics, maybe a CPAP machine or something that requires good quality pure sine wave, that's what you need to acquire. If you're purchasing an MDC caravan or camper and you have a specific need for a pure sine wave inverter, you need to make sure you tell the salesperson at time of purchase you want to step up the inverter in the camper or caravan to a pure sine wave. Generally, they'll come with a modified sine wave which will cover 95% of the applications. Now we need to look at the wattage of the items that we're going to plug into this. This one here is a 1000 watt inverter. You may think, oh great, I can run a 750 watt microwave from this power supply. Well, you'd be very, very wrong. A 750 watt microwave may actually have an input wattage of something like 1800, 2000, possibly over 2000 watts input into the microwave to produce that 750 watts of cooking power, which means a 2000 watt inverter is not gonna do it, let alone a 1000 watt inverter. So what you need to do is when you look at your appliance, such as this one, this appliance has an 1800 watt output in terms of 1800 watts of power to boil the water in the jug, but the input wattage, according to the sticker on the bottom, is 2200 watts. So a 2000 watt inverter isn't gonna cut it. So you need to think about it. Know the input wattage of the appliance, forget the output wattage, it's got nothing to do with it. So think about it. First, what you wanna plug into your inverter. Does that appliance need a pure sine wave inverter or we will get away with a modified sine wave? And will the inverter cover the input wattage of the appliance? So think about it carefully. Don't make any mistakes, that way you won't be tripping the inverter out. And remember, these are very resource hungry on your batteries. If you got an inverter big enough to run your 750 watt microwave, you would probably near drain all three batteries in your caravan before you got the chicken cooked. So remember, it's not an efficient way of doing things. They require a lot of power from the batteries to produce the end result. So sometimes you're better off going to something like cooking on gas instead of using a microwave off an inverter. Anyway, folks, I hope that clears up inverters for you. For more great information, head to our YouTube channel and watch all the masterclass videos and follow us on Facebook so you can see each one as we do it.